While query performance depends on overall design, data model maintenance and query design, there are measures you can take to discover the reasons for long query runtimes and to improve performance. Following are the considerations for query performance improvement. Before changing the data model to improve performance, check if your queries are designed optimally. The figure displays the most common issues in query definitions. These issues can be resolved easily within the query definition without far-reaching changes in your SAP BW system. The following list describes how to resolve common issues. Query read mode determines how the OLAP processor gets data during navigation. In SAP BW, you can set the read mode for a query in customizing for an info provider and in the query monitor. Following are the types of query read mode that are supported. In this demonstration, you will see how to configure query read mode in the info provider and for queries. First, you will see how to log into SAP RWB. Click Start. Click SAP Logon for Windows. Clicking the entry RWB space selects it. Click Logon. The user field is filled out. The password field is filled out. Click Enter. In the following steps, you will see how to access RSA1 transaction code and search for P underscore CUSTOM info provider and configure query read mode in the info provider.
RSA1 is now entered in the transaction box. Click Enter. Click Find. The Find field is filled out. Click Search. Right clicking on P underscore C U S T O M with the mouse opens a shortcut menu. Clicking the display menu item executes it. Clicking the extras menu item executes it. Clicking the info provider properties menu item executes it. Clicking the display menu item executes it. Clicking the read mode opens a drop down list. In the following steps, you will see how to configure query read mode for a query P underscore sales underscore analysis underscore 001. Slash NRSRT1 is now entered in the transaction box. Click Enter. The query field is filled out. Click Properties. Info Provider Setting checkbox is cleared. Clicking the Read Mode opens a drop-down list. Clicking the entry, a query to read all data at once, selects it. Click Continue. Clicking Exit quits the transaction. You can also press Shift plus F3. Now, you have seen how to configure Query Read Mode in the Info Provider and for queries. For SAP BW administrators, there are several performance monitoring tools to check the execution of queries in the SAP BW system, for example, the Trace tool or the OLAP Cache Monitor. In this course, we will focus on the Query Monitor as a tool for analyzing the query runtime and the operations that are performed while the query is loaded. The Query Monitor tests, checks and manages SAP BW queries and is intended for use by SAP BW administrators. You can open the Query Monitor from the SAP Easy Access screen. Follow the path Start, Programs, Business Explorer, BEX Query Monitor using Transaction RSRT1. Use the Query Monitor to test or regenerate queries and query views. Check or change query properties. Display technical information about queries if required. In the SAP BEX Query Monitor, enter the technical name of the query. To perform detailed analysis, choose Execute and Debug. You can execute the query without using cache and display statistics data to get an overview of the different steps that were performed and the runtime of each step. Note, more information about query performance optimization for SAP BW administrators is available at HTTP help.sap.com In this demonstration, you will see how to use tracing with RSRT1 to improve query performance. Click Start. Click SAP Logon for Windows. Clicking the entry RWB space selects it. Click Logon. The user field is filled out. The password field is filled out. Click Enter. In the following steps, you will see how to use the query monitor to check P underscore DIV underscore AN underscore 001 queries runtime. RSRT1 is now entered in the transaction box. Click Enter. 
the query field is filled out. Click Execute plus Debug. Display Statistics data checkbox is selected. Note, Do not use Cache checkbox is selected. Note, Do not use Cache checkbox is selected so that the result does not get falsified. Do not use Cache checkbox is selected. Click Continue. In the following steps, you will see how to display a total for the duration column. Clicking back takes you back to the previous page. You can also press F3. Click Duration. Click Sum. In the following steps, you will see how to switch to the aggregation layer to see more details about the info providers that have been read. Clicking the Aggregation Layer tab selects it. Clicking Exit quits the transaction. You can also press Shift plus F3.